Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Yas Marina Circuit in Abu Dhabi for the 22nd track on the schedule. And after this race here tonight, it will be time for team upgrades. Second time this season, we'll get to see those upgrades firsthand at Tula when we travel from here to Russia for the fourth track of the international tour. But first, track number three. I hope you're as pumped as I am. Standing starts are back, and we'll be seeing some more of that at Tula as well. Let's get to your starting lineup. On the pole position is the three of Ryan Brommer. Um, Brommer got his second one of the season back at Rio. So maybe he's looking for win number three. We've got three drivers with three wins now on the season. And those drivers are Dylan Young, Matthew Logan, and Dale Lightning. Starting in second will be Marty Johnson, trying to get into the top 30 points. Big points gap to get there. Third, Bobo Jones. Fourth, Cole Deaver, continuing his good starting positions, but Deaver just can't seem to get the finishes rolling. Hunter Braxton, fifth. Andrew Rich, sixth. Sky Common, seventh. Sekuli, eighth. Zorlin ninth, and the Naka will be 10th. And that is what we are looking at. We're going to go to the spectator camera. We'll get to see the green light from here. And as mentioned, Hunter Braxton, another heat win, another race without a main race win. He's had seven heat wins, and he has still not won a main event since the third race of the season, all the way back at Rockingham. When will Hunter Braxton get that second win of the season? He's now dipped to eighth in the standings. All right, we'll find out the start until we ask our drivers a question. Are you ready? Drivers, will you please start your engine? Green, 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 green. We are underway, and look at that. Look who has the big jump. Braxton's one of them, too. But Bobo Jones gets to the race lead. Braxton up to third for now. As Brommer falls to second, look at Bobo Jones drive away. Talk about a driver who has not won a heat race. As we've got Rex, Brommer, Commons, Rich, they're all around. Chaos. Four or five wide racing going on. That's a trouble corner. And here we go down the longest straightaway on the track. And several big names having issues there. We'll see if they're able to get out of the funk here down the straightaway. And how about the top four? Jones, Braxton, Johnson, Deaver, and battle for fifth between Sakuli and Zorlin. Marie, Yas Marina is one of those racetracks where it can get tricky. Sorlin up to fifth place. Common spun out. He's in seventh. Still Brommer in eighth. And Rich is still looking pretty good. He has not fallen outside the top 20 just yet. This is one of the longest tracks in terms of lap times. Oh, and Andrew Rich loses grip again. Oh, and he's pounded by Benjamin Ice. And many, many cars going off track there. Bright, Tremblay, Moore, Wild, I think, all having problems. What on earth is going on? Baco Magora has an issue. And Rich has fallen to 21st. All kinds of drivers losing grip. Bright again. Ice again gets pounded by Tremblay. And the pace car is still on the track. Tremblay with more problems. Peter Ajak is smoking. Oh my gosh. Chaos. Chaos everywhere. Some drivers just trying to push it too hard. Rich will not come down pit road. Looks like Tremblay is. Ajak's car totaled. We'll have to take a look after the race, see what happened to him. Brommer's got back end damage, but Jones leads over Braxton. 
Will anyone else have a problem with the switchback here? It's one of the toughest corners on the track. Oh, and Fitzwater loses grip. Vortimar Otz pounded in is wild. Jagger cages around. Chaos in Yas Marina. And the pace car is just here. Just ignore him. But Bobo Jones so far in the lead. Not sure when pit stops will occur. Reminder, Bobo Jones last won a heat race all the way back at Talladega to start the season. Braxton looking for heat win number eight. He's charging, charging fast here. Here's the next trouble corner. Braxton barely hanging on. Same with Marty Johnson. We're just going to cut the camera here, see who hangs in, who doesn't. So two trouble corners on the racetrack, maybe more. And now that we're single file, everyone appears to be okay. So your first four out right now, Onjack officially retiring. So he better hope Watson makes the race. Meanwhile, Tremblay with the pit road, Beckett and Ice also with problems. And this is what the pace car is going to be doing, I guess. And on lap two, we're going to have pit stops. I don't know if this means some drivers will make it all the way or not. But Bobo Jones will lead the first group down after just two laps. So they'll start lap three. I don't know. This might be a two-stop heat race here. Everyone's coming down pit road except for one driver in the back there. No two drivers. Quinton Moore stays out. And who was the other one? Frodemar Otz. Those are the two staying out. They might be able to one-stop it. Benjamin Ice stays out. St. Beckett stays out. Jones is out of his stall. He's one of the first ones out. As we go through the tunnel. One of the most unique pit road exits ever. Bobo Jones is out just in front of Hunter Braxton. And we will once again go to our stop camera here. Does anyone mess up? It's one of the toughest corners on the track. With pit stops now, the field has really spread out. And Casey Nanaka will lose grip, but he'll get it back going. Flickinger locks him up too. Nanaka loses nothing. Flickinger a spot. Fitzwater slides into the corner. Rich will close up on his bumper. Turner, Jagger simultaneously spinning. So does Eli Bright. What happens here with Quinton Moore? He's fine. So it's just a matter of watching these trouble corners. Reminder, reminder four drivers are, have yet to pit. They're going to try and stretch it. They're at the back of the field, but it's just going to come down to if they pit here, can they make it? I mean, they, some of them have damage. It's just going to be if everyone else pits again on lap four or if people are going to start running out of gas. Ooh, Fitzwater got really close there. Same with Jagger. Turner, Cage. Bright is really down at the bottom now. More Otts, Ice, and Beckett will come to pit road here this time by. So Quinton Moore in the lead at two to go. The lead will return to Bobo Jones for now. As Hunter Braxton trying to close in. Johnson in third, Deaver fourth, just waiting for either of these drivers to mess up. 
And the spectator cameras we've got here tonight are very great. So it's just a trouble turn of these drivers. Some of them are pushing it a little too hard. And Hunter Braxton just spun out. Johnson spins in reaction. Deaver to third. Sorlin loses it. So Cooley will keep it together. Nanako gets it right this time. Fitzwater gets it right this time. Everyone doing a pretty good job here. Braxton up. There goes Jagger and Quinton Moore fresh out of pit road, but no damage. Bright spins it again. Frodemar out of pit road. Ice out of pit road. They're going to be fine here. There's Sane Beckett. So Tremblay clearly the first man out. And then it looks like Magora and Beckett are next. And here we go. The second corner on the racetrack. That's an issue. And Jones has no problem. Deaver a little wide. No one has spun out here again. I think this is really, it seems to be more of a side-by-side -side issue going through this corner than single file. So this is a first lap wonder, this corner right here, but the other corner is not. Oh, and no, never mind. Donovan Cajun Bright will lose it. Frodemar goes around too. That'll give a spot to ice, maybe. We'll have to see if they pit or not. Maybe it's just a fresh tire issue. Nobody pits. They're going to take the white flag. Maybe it was just a strategy play. Go two laps and then go three on the, on the last run. But Bobo Jones with a commanding lead. Does he keep it straight? And he does. Jones, no problems there. He's all but got this second heat win of the season locked up. And what a track you want to start on the front row as Sorlin and Sakuli are around again. The Naka will slam the brakes. He'll take one position. Commons loses it. Oh, is Flickinger going to take anything there? No. Eli Bright has to be careful. He's just on the danger zone. There's Quentin Moore, who was probably hoping for those drivers to have to pit again. And Eli Bright continues. And Frodemar will get by. That is for 19th, or 18th, actually. Beckett is 22nd right now on the grid. Bobo Jones, he's looking good. Looking good for that second heat win of the season. We've talked about upset winners as of late during this international tour. Zachary Fitzwater Sr. was the first back at Rio. Benny Watson led a lot of the main event, or a little bit of the main event in Rio. And then he went on to finish sixth. JD Motorsports is not the team you would think would be an underdog. But they have not performed as expected this season. But here at Yas Marina, for the second time this season, it'll be Bobo Jones getting a heat win. And he'll start either first or second. Tremblay, Beckett, and Otts are the bottom Four, other bottom three along with Onjack right now. Look at Eli Bright's car, man. Just trying to hang on at this point. So Jones, as mentioned, gets his second heat win of the season. have to see who the heat two winner is so the 
lap three strat will not work out for Otz or Beckett. And Bright, after wrecking, I think, three or four times, will hang on to make the main event. Just waiting for results to be official. And then we'll show you the replay of what happened to Peter Onjak. Braxton second, Deaver third. Oh, so something happened to Johnson on that last lap. Probably the corner we were talking about where they don't wreck a lot, but it looks like Deaver got by Johnson for third place. Not that it matters here in the heat race. Results are official. Sane Beckett, Frodemar Otz, Brian Tremblay, and Peter Onjak will miss out on Yas Marina. With that, we'll take a look at what happened to Peter Onjak, and then we'll get to heat two. Well, this was a lap of madness for Peter Onjak. He missed so much stuff. He actually got into it with Sam Beckett through uh, the first right-hand corner on the racetrack. That's why Beckett fell back a little bit. But this is a corner here that was a bit of a danger spot for Eli Bright. You see Bright just shoves it in too hard and he goes to turn hard because he knows Onjak's going to get the run. And he loops it. Onjak's going to just miss the 88. Benjamin Ice spun out there as well. Tremblay makes contact there. And then right here on this corner, Onjak is just going to straight up lose all grip. Too much gas, maybe. Locks up the brakes to keep it from spinning all the way. Jagger will barely miss him. And then Tremblay's drifting himself, and he just gets him right there. Right in front of the left rear, and it just kills Onjak's car. And it's a tough break for the 90. We will get you now to the start of heat number two. We're getting ready for heat race number two here from Yas Marina. Well, heat one was certainly the interesting adventure. So here for heat number two, starting on the pole, three-time race winner on the season, Matthew Logan. Starting second will be Johnny Gardner. Third, Dylan Young. Fourth is Alan Cavagnero. Fifth, Samet Oskin. Sixth, Colt Hudson. Seventh, Enzo Nareza. Eighth is Dale Lightning, your most recent three-time winner. Ninth, Corey Riggs. And starting tenth is James Ellison. From what we've seen of this track, and the uh, crews, the, the officials might do something to the track to maybe give it some more grip make it better in the corners because there are corners where drivers are just flat out losing it. Bobo Jones came away with the heat one win. That's his second win of the season, but nothing is guaranteed. Even Hunter Braxton, who was running in second, lost it. That's what ultimately he lost three seconds. Um, ultimately, now, there is a faster part of the track where you lose more time. There's, there seem to be two zones, but especially on the first lap with all the side-by-side -side action, a lot of chaos seems to occur when you're next to someone versus when you're by yourself. So this first lap will be a doozy for sure. But man, I can't wait for the main event itself. Let's go racing in Heat 2. Green, 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 green in heat number two. And Dale Lightning's the one with the huge start this time. Already three wide at the front of the field for fifth. Everyone gets it rolling. That's one thing I've been waiting to see happen in one of these standing start races is someone stalling it. Matthew Logan with a good start. Young in second, Oskin in third. And here we go. Here comes the fun part of the racetrack. And we will go to the no camera here. And Cavagnero's the first one around. The Reza Riggs gets into him. Bishop nudging into the 20 himself. Logan is away and clear. And this is where the craziness begins. Oh, they have three wide there. Ellison, Cavi, and Seth Cole. Are they going to keep it three wide? 
So far, it looks like they will. Tringali's right in front of him. He doesn't know what to do. Cavi's going to back it up. That'll put them back double file. And Ellison loses it. But Seth Cole skims the side of the 11. And that saves him. That saved the 11 there just a wee bit. We're coming up to our next disaster corner. So far, so good for the front runners. Oh, here comes the pack. Who's the first one to lose it? Oh, Alexander Rowe loses it. Cole Baker gets clobbered by Enzo Nereza. And they are five wide at the back of the field. Four wide, actually. King sliding around here in the back. Three wide action right here. This has come through one of the most treacherous parts of the racetrack. Boyles is off track. He loses a ton of time. There goes White Anderson, Fernandez, and Catano. Boyles checks up. These are the bottom three of the bottom four right now. Fernandez, Catano, and Anderson. Those are your bottom three. Did anyone have to go to pit road? Katana loses it again and he's clobbered by the 35. Oh, those are, might be two of them right there. Nerezza's on pit road with heavy front end damage. We'll, we'll have to wait and see if he continues or not. Baker's got some side damage. Top seven make it through this part of the track. Okie dokie. Never mind. Seth. Oh, man. Look at that. Four spinners. Seth Cole, Cavagnero, Mendez, Baran Oscus, And they had a huge gap. Back to 13th. Benny Watson. But Watson, Rowe, Ellison, Bishop, Carnage everywhere. Some clouds have come in. It's made it a little bit slicker, I guess. Man, Catano just really threw it in there. Once again, the pace car becoming an issue. So far, Matthew Logan in a world of his own in, in the lead. Now, if Logan can pull off the win, it would be his third heat win. And Logan, I think, is the only guy in Heat 2 who has won multiple heat races and not done it in succession. We'll once again go to the no camera here, no car camera. See the gap back to Watson from the 21 continues to remain the same. And Nereza has retired. We'll wait and see if these drives make it through. And Chris Wheeler loses it hard. Foyles, Anderson, Ellison, Fernandez. Oh, and Fernandez clips the 11. But Katana will be fine. Trouble now on the track, though. Nereza, who had made every race up to this point. Will miss his first event of the season. Right now, the three joining him, Fernandez, Catano, and Ellison. Ellison has made every race this season as well. And his car does not look good. First man out right now is the 11. A big question here is, do they have a lot of damage to fix? And it looks like they will go to lap three. Fernandez will pit. And you see a decent chunk of cars, inclu including the leader, Matthew Logan. We'll see if those drivers are going to be fine on one stop. But your leader right now is Alan Cavagnero. Seth Cole right behind him in second. Ellison would indeed be missing his first race of the year. I believe if Ellison misses with Nereza, that drops us to five drivers who have made every every race. You see Ellison is just so far back right now. Ooh, it looked like he was going to be really close there. Logan first went out of pit road. He's got a bumper full of Dylan Young. And Young charging hard. As Nico Tringali, Colt Hudson, they loop it.
No one else has retired. Cavagnero, he's made every race this season. So we'll get the Baran Oscus here. We'll go no cam. Let's see if Ellison misses, who would that leave? It would leave Andrew Rich, Hunter Braxton, Seth Cole, Fitzwater and Cavagnero as Ellison hits the wall again, this time with Katano. That might just do it in the 11. Oh, someone's smoking back there. Who's that? Is that Colt Hudson? Yes, the 38 has stopped blowing up on the track. Watson makes evasive action. He loses it. So does Rowe. And Bishop clobbers into the 52. Oh, man. Hudson blows up. That's going to be one driver out. Bishop nailed him. That might cost Bishop. And Bishop's 18th in the points. A mere 45 points above 20th. 50 total above Cavagnero. Logan will resume the race lead with two laps to go. Just trying to double check once again to verify. Rich, Braxton, Seth Cole, Fitzy, and Cavi. Those would be the five drivers left to have made every start if Ellison misses. Here we go, two to go. What's the consensus here? Logan's fine. Dylan Young, Austin will lose it in third. He really loops it. That causes Lightning to loop it. Riggs to loop it. Gardner slams the brake. He takes two positions. Cavi's going to lose it. No one hits him, though. He loses two spots to Tringali. Maybe Seth Cole. Maybe he holds on to it. Looks like he, held, he will hold it for now. Bishop's on pit road. From what we can see on the ticker, he has not touched the start-finish line for lap four. Fernandez will loop it. Baker will just squeak by the 35. And Bishop has retired from the race. And Ellison is way behind Chris Wheeler, I think. If Ellison has any sort of problem, he's done. Bishop will miss his third race of the season. Now, Bishop does have to win the fall back on. But it will change the fate of making it in on points if he falls out of the top 20. And, and I'm sure that the the officials are trying to figure out what is, what is with either the setups or, or the tires something going on here with this track and hopefully they'll have it figured out for the main event maybe uh loosen uh, uh shrink the amount of times this is happening there you see though ellison is so far back white flag taken by the nine of matthew logan he's got a 1.42 second lead over dylan young you can see there Two tenths faster that time for his fast lap of the race. A lot of drivers have been unable to set decent lap times today. Tonight, rather. Final lap. Logan's fine, so is Dylan Young. And a huge gap back to third place, Samet Oskin. A lot of these drivers, they're all good, even if they were to lose it, as long as they weren't are not clobbered, they should be okay. Ooh, man, this got pretty close. And, well, actually, Ellison is 20th right now. Katano is on pit road. So Ellison might just squeak into this thing. 
see, there's Ellison. No sign of Katano. Katano likely on pit road. Maybe Katano with an issue. Ellison is fine. Back to the lead. Logan is doing just fine. There's Katano on pit road. Possibly something breaking on the 61. The camshaft issue for the 38. That's a tough break for a Hudson. Hudson came in 25th in the points. It's going to be his fourth race missed on the season. And he's got a 49 point gap back to Riggs, his teammate, who's 27th. So he should at least maybe only lose down to 26th. But time is running out to win races. Coming around, though, to the start-finish line. As Katano leaves his pit stall, it'll be Matthew Logan. Winning his heat here at Yas Marina. That's his third heat win of the season. And once again, Logan winning a heat race. Not back-to-back. -back. So it'll be Logan and Bobo Jones on the front row. If you can... Excuse me, even call it that. We'll see who wins the coin flip. My bet's on the nine, but you never know. So Young gets second, Austin third, Gardner fourth, Lightning fifth, Riggs, Tringali, Cavi, Seth Cole, Mendez. That's the top ten. Right now it looks like it's going to be hard to pass on this racetrack. There's Wheeler. There's Ellison, and that will confirm it. Katano, Bishop, Hudson, and the Reza will miss out on the main event. And with that, I will see you for the main race in a couple of hours.